Hello, it's Steve here, Headbanging Zulu, wishing you a happy day. Really nice weather here in the UK. The sun's out, uh, which is unusual for us this time of year. Um, I just want to show you a few more hold-ups I've purchased uh, with my tin. Um, you know, if you've seen the last film, you know the story of the tin. I'm calling it the tin of destiny now today. Um, because uh, I cracked open a tin where I've kept my savings in for the last couple of years. And uh, treated myself for a few CDs. Uh, without further ado, um, I think Cl Cloudy's held this one up. But this is a cracking um, CD. Um, what this is, is called British Steel. And it's all the new wave of traditional heavy metal up and coming British bands. Um, there's some killer songs on this one. I'll just hold it up so you can see the track listing of it. And uh, that the second one down, Aggr Aggressive Perfect, is a good track. I believe that's a Slayer song. I may be mistaken. But that's an absolute cracking song. There's no um, bad songs on that, this album. It comes with a nice little booklet as well. And uh, it tells you all a little bit about the bands. Some have got albums out, some haven't. They're only on the EP stage. But uh, yeah, it's definitely. I'm definitely going to look into these bands. Some of them are really, really good. You can spot the influences like Iron Maiden, uh, Magnum, uh, them sort of influences. But uh, the second CD is one that Scott held up recently, which I'm not talking about. This is a New Jersey thrash metal band, Overkill. This album's an absolute killer. Thoroughly enjoyed this one. Was listening to it the other night. You can't go wrong with Overkill. A uh, bit of German thrash now. Um, I purchased Creator, um, the very best of the noise years, 1985 to not 1992. Um, that was my treat today. Creator, a German thrash band from Essen, I believe, in Germany. That's a good statement, isn't it? And that's the track listing there. And uh, there's some great songs on there. Um, if you're into sort of the thrash, German thrash, which I am, um, that's another CD you can't go wrong. I also picked up this CD as well. And uh, sorry about, is that right? No, that, that's right. Uh, this one comes. It's like the digi pack. It comes with a booklet and stuff like that. And uh, that's my creator stuff today. I probably love this band. Um, can't beat it. Uh, the next one is a bit of Swedish, what I call Viking metal, and that was Amon Amoth. Uh, the, this is another really good band. I love listening to this on the train, funny enough, through my MP4 player. Also, it's got a track where Doro Pesh um, is singing on it as well, so that's amazing as well. I'll just identify it. Um, it's called uh, A Dream That Cannot Be. Um, that's the track listing on the back. And um, that's the front of the album. It's a killer cover as well for an album. But that's another good band that you can't beat. Um, I call it, they call it death metal. But I actually call it Viking metal. It's just, it's just really good killer music. Now, another album I got is in England. If you spend over a certain amount of money, uh, they throw in a CD for a couple of quid. And this was my choice, The Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, don't all sort of sigh and say, what's a Zulu buying that for? It's got some not bad tracks on, like um, um, Thin Lizzy, The Boys Are Back In Town. Um, <clears throat> also, Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. I believe Brian May absolutely detested that track, and that's why you never hear it played on any of the later concert albums. But the best uh, song on here is a song called Drift Away by Doobie Gray. I don't know if you've ever heard of that song. If you haven't, after you finish with this film, YouTube it and have a listen. It's definitely worth three minutes of your time. It's a ballad, and it's sort of like a very one of my favourite all-time tracks, and that's why I purchased this uh, CD as well. But it's got I, I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. Sort of a bit of everything, really. A couple of tracks by the James Gang as well. I've got an album of theirs. It's got a bit of everything. Um, I haven't seen the second one yet, but I've seen the, this, the first uh, Guardians movie. But the way Hollywood's going at the moment, I think the film industry will be um, not, not, not non-existent next year. Oh well, can't have everything. Um, next band I found cheap was a Cinderella, The Greatest Hits. Uh, this was another cheap pickup, cost a couple of quid. Uh, I wasn't going to leave that in the shop. I'm a big fan of uh, Cinderella. 
Uh, there's, I hope you can see that all right because they're a bit small. But I've been listening to this band a lot from the MP4 player as well. Uh, the final two um, lots, or if you could call it that, uh, is Metallica. And I thought of Greg the Egg when I bought this one because this one is uh, the Canadian broadcast in Winnipeg in 1986. And um, you've got uh, all the early hits like Battery, Master of Puppets, uh, For Whom the Bells Toll, A Welcome Home, uh, all, all the good stuff. Seek and Destroy. So I purchased that. So after I purchased this CD, I was in a metallic uh, mood. And I also purchased this as well. This is another... I've already got one of the CDs out of this box. I've shown it before. Um, but uh, that's what I've got. is all the classic uh, Metallica tracks live. Like Ride the Lightning, uh, Hit the Lights, Battery, etc, etc. But uh, they add another two CDs. The classic live volume, that's volume two. And this is the latest stuff, like Enter the Sandman, Sad But True... Uh, that was off the, the um, Black Album or the self-titled album. Um, but uh, it's got some of the older stuff on, like Seek and Destroy and, um, and that sort of stuff. But the third one they're thrown in is the Monsters of Rock broadcast from Moscow, Russia, 1991. And that's in the box as well. And uh, I'll try and show you the track listing of that. Um... Uh, you should be able to see it, I think. I hope you can see it all right, folks. But, uh, there, yeah, there it, there it all is. Anyway, folks, thank you for putting up with me once once more. I just thought I'd show you this quick update. <coughs> I've still got a load of stuff to come. But the only thing is, I've ordered it off a famous uh, site. I'm not mentioning the name, but the bloke who owns it's because he's the richest man in the world. It has the same name as the famous river in the South American jungle. I just wanted to give you a little bit of advice. I've noticed something when you buy off there, that when you put in what you want, i.e. CD-wise, you'll first be offered the most expensive CD there is. Don't buy that, folks. Just scroll down and you'll get used, and it'll give you a price, and new. And that's the list I buy off. Because at the very top will be new and sealed copies up to 40% cheaper than the one they're offering you. If you want a second-hand copy that's been quality checked and resealed, um, that's the one I generally go for. You're looking at a 50% discount. And uh, if you want to use one, you could be looking up to 80%. And apparently these big companies, are quality, it's a strict quality control, they're not scratched or anything. You may get a slight bit of creasing with the uh, booklet or something like that, but that's about it. It's really worth checking out because it's going to save you a lot, a lot of money in the long run. That's if you're not bothered about getting uh, second-hand CDs. And that's the sort of practice I've adopted now. And uh, you can see by how many CDs I've held up, um, what I'm getting from my cash. Um, it is saving, I reckon I've saved about 50%, so it's allowed me to get double more CDs than I normally would. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this uh, film. Uh, this is a Zulu saying peace and love and spread all the love. Take care. I'm going. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.